Hello, my name is Roberto Garcia and I'm here at the Analytical Instrumentation Facility. And today I'm gonna to show you how to run an experiment in the Rigaku Smart Lab X-ray diffractometer. First, let's go over our system. We have our incident beam optics, which includes the source and limiting slits. Then we have our sample state, where we have our sample placement. And finally, we have our diffracted beam optics, which includes a monochromator and the detector. The first step is to make sure that the guidance software is up and running. If not, start it from the desktop. Then make sure to select the general Bragg-Brentano measurement. The next step is to perform an optics alignment. The system is aware of what optics are in place and will let you know if any need to be changed. For Bragg-Brentano, we want the BB slit in the crossbeam optics. If it is not present, switch it now. You will also need to insert the center slit in the sample stage. The alignment process will take approximately four to five minutes. After the alignment, we need to open the unit, remove the center slit, and insert our sample onto the stage. Now select the sample alignment, and then select Curved Sample. The unit will then set the detector to a maximum intensity and then it will slowly drive up your sample until it cuts that intensity in half. It will assume that this is the top of your sample. The entire process takes about two to three minutes. Now we can enter our general measurement parameters. Select a file name and a location of where to store the data. Make sure the scan mode is set for theta to theta. You can either do step scans or continuous scans. Set the starting angle and the ending angle. Set the step size. Typically, 0.05 is good for most scans. Then also set the scan speed. Note that changing the scan speed and the step size will also change the calculated time at the bottom left-hand corner. Try it for about a 30 minute to 45 minute scan. Once completed, Press OK. 
Now with the general measurement selected, press the run button. Then answer yes, you want to start the scan from this part, followed by saying OK that you're ready to change instrument parameters if needed. Please note you should not step away from the instrument until you actually see data being recorded.